Hey guys, it's me. Um, I wanted to do this live really quick because um, I've been thinking over the last couple of days about something that's been bugging me, but I kind of wanted to wait for the media and the press to die down about the whole drama between me and Cardi to talk about something that's kind of serious, especially since I have a lot of new followers um, who seem interested in the other side of the debate and what black conservatives are talking about. Um, so in this debate between me and Cardi, Cardi uh, made a lot of personal attacks on me. I didn't return the favor. It would have been uh, pretty classless. But I want to particularly talk about her attacks on my husband. Um, because of the color of his skin, right? So we live in a society right now that is super racialized. And you have a bunch of entertainers that are telling you that there's racism everywhere and that everything they're doing is because they want to combat racism. And in the same, in the very same breath, we have those same entertainers um, that are the authors of racism. Um, Cardi has never met my husband, she doesn't know my husband, but she said a uh, comment on her one of her many videos talking about his white duck. I think we know what she meant, but she did write white duck. Um, and uh, saying that I sold out my community by marrying a white man. Um, and then another portion of one of her videos, she spoke about my father-in-law, who she has no idea who he is, and said that he's a part of the upper class KKK in the UK. First and foremost, I'm not gonna address stupidity of that claim. The Ku Klux Klan was never in the United Kingdom. They don't have the same race history um, as America. And my house, uh, my father-in-law sits in the House of Lords, um, not exactly the Ku Klux Klan um, of the UK. But I don't need to address just the idiocies surrounding the facts of what she said. I wanna talk about the attack on the fact that my husband is white. Because I've heard this often, um, especially amongst her fans, well, you married a white man. Oh, well, that tells you everything. Um, first off, I want you to just imagine the shoe is on the other foot. So let's use an example of an interracial couple. Um, Serena Williams is married to um, uh, uh, Alex Ohanian, and uh, that is the founder of Reddit. So she is e easily, I mean, anybody would say Serena is the greatest athlete on the face of the planet. She is black. She is proud to be black, and she fell in love with a white man who is a techie, a Silicon Valley techie. I want you to imagine that Alex Ohanian and Mark Zuckerberg get into a Silicon spat online. Um, and rather than answering Mark, rather than Mark Zuckerberg answering Alex Ohanian on the points that he made, um, Alex and Mark start talking about the fact that Alex is married to a black woman. Could you imagine if Mark Zuckerberg put up a video in which he said, well, the problem with you is you betrayed your race because you married a black B-I-T-C-H and you're with somebody who has a black vagina. Just imagine what, what the world would do, right? If Mark Zuckerberg got on an Instagram Live and said something about the fact that Serena was black and called out Alex for betraying his race, how would the world react? The world would go absolutely crazy. Mark Zuckerberg would have to sell the shares in his company, step down as the CEO. He would be gone. He would be canceled tomorrow because it's unbelievably racist and it would be despicable for him to make an attack to suggest that a white man betrayed his race because he married a black woman. It would be, you, you can't even think of this scenario because it would not be okay. I mean, he'd, he'd probably get knocked off of Facebook himself for harassment and discrimination and for being a, a flagrant racist. But for some reason, when Cardi B does this, there's, we don't see that feedback in the media. We don't see the media going, wait a second, that's actually very racist um, for her to set, suggest that blacks and whites shouldn't be marrying. So I want to also give you a history lesson on that and why it's one of the most despicable things that you're seeing a lot of young black people say today. Um, first and foremost, uh, when you want to talk about black history in this very same breath that you suggest that blacks and whites should not be married, it shows that you know absolutely nothing about your history. You have absolutely no idea what your ancestors fought for. And I would point to all of you guys to go examine the Supreme Court case of um, Loving versus Virginia, uh, when a black woman and a white man, Mildred Loving and Richard Loving, fell in love and decided to do something quite simple and get married um, in Virginia. And because there were racial codes then, and they believed in racial integrity, there was something called the Racial Integrity Act um, in Virginia that was passed in the 1920s, um, they arrested them and they sentenced them to a year in prison. So just imagine our black ancestors being sentenced to a year in prison uh, because they simply fell in love with a white man. Um, this was a sort of discrimination and race, racism that went on um, in the South all over America. And the, these people fought for the right to love one another and took it all the way to the Supreme Court and scored uh, the first win that actually illegal 
legalized miscegenation, which illegalized racial codes that didn't allow blacks and whites to get married. Um, that's a little history lesson for you of what our ancestors have been through just for the right to love who they love so that, you know, Serena can marry Alex and nobody can say anything and that's allowed to be. Um, and now we have dramatically arrived into a society where you have people like Cardi B with a platform of 75 million people who is attacking the very same thing that our ancestors fought for, racial integration, for the right to fall in love with someone because the person that they are. Suggest that because I'm married to a white man, my father-in-law must be in the KKK. It would be as racist as, as Mark Zuckerberg in the scenario that I just gave, suggesting that um, Serena Williams' father is in the bloods of the Crips. Like, oh, go, go, Alex, marry that woman. You betrayed your race. You want to be with that black woman. Look what she's doing to you. You're a race traitor. Your father-in-law is in the bloods of the Crips. Based on no knowledge, no facts, just assigning something disgusting to someone on the basis of their skin color. That is outward racism. Okay, so when you ask why people that are black conservatives speak out against this and when you say, oh, it's because they want to send um, the black community back, you're wrong. No, no, no. We're, we're trying to keep the black community forward and we're calling out the black celebrities, Hispanic celebrities that are actually trying to send our community backwards. What she is talking about is not racial justice. She, what she wants is racial injustice. And if you're following that, if you're, by the way, if you're a white person, you've downloaded her music, she just let you know what she thinks about you. She believes in racial segregation. She believes that blacks and whites shouldn't come together. I know all of her millions are not earned because all black people are buying her music. I've seen all the white girls doing the WAP dance on Instagram. Um, and I know tons, all, all of my white friends, all my black friends, they all have her music downloaded. Maybe it's time to revisit who you're supporting if these are the ideals that they espouse. Because there's nobody's music that I like so much that I would be comfortable with them jumping on a platform and, and attacking someone on the basis of their skin color absent any facts because you think that there is something wrong with actually living the Martin Luther King dream. Actually, actually living the Mildred loving and Richard loving dream. The idea that black Americans and white Americans can come together and be friends and, and, and date and fall in love and do all of these things because of the content of their character and not because of their skin color. In my opinion, Cardi B, you owe everybody an apology, not just white America, but black America for saying something so ridiculously ass backwards and disgusting and despicable. Um, and you should take it seriously. You probably won't because again, you're not interested in politics. You're interested in having a platform and saying ratchet things and not actually trying to say you are. So I just wanted to wrap with that and just say that we need to start calling out all of these racist entertainers that have platforms um, that are pretending that they want to help when in reality they are trying to resegregate America, which is something that I'm not for. Thanks, guys, for listening. Oh, and by my book, Blackout, we're actually number three in the nation right now, which is so incredible, and I want to be number one. So thanks. <laughs>